Hello and welcome to this session on SOAP UI beginner tutorial and today we are going to see what are the different ways we can run a test suite in SOAP UI. So we are going to see how to run a test suite from the GUI of SOAP UI. We will also look at how to run the test suite with the help of a groovy script and finally we will see how to run a test suite from command line. So this is going to be very easy and interesting and I will also discuss some useful tips with you. So let's get started and let me open my SOAP UI. So SOAP UI is up and running and I will just close this startup page and here you can see we have this project country info service that we have been working on in our earlier sessions. So I will expand this and let me go to any of the test suites. So let me go to test suite 2 and double click on this test suite and here you can see the test suite window. So the very first option is from the GUI you can run it from this window so you can see this is a run button here which runs the selected test cases and then we also have the option of running all the test cases inside the test suite in a sequential way that is one by one or you can also select this option to run all the test cases in parallel. So here you can see inside test suite 2 I have these four test cases and all these four test cases have further steps inside them and if I now click on this green play button you can see it has started running all the test cases and it has ran all the test cases and the final status is red which is failed because if any of the test case fails the test suite is considered as a, a failure. Also if you can see the failed test cases they are not executed completely but they stop as soon as a failure occurs and that is because if you go to the test case for example I am going to this first test case and here if you go to this options you can see we have set this property about on error as true. So in this particular test case whenever any error occurs or any failure occurs it will stop. So I will uncheck this and say OK. And now if I run this again. Now you can see the very first test case even if there was an error it ran completely and then the second test case of course passed. The third and the fourth test case again have the same option set which is about on failure so they again stopped whenever there was a failure. But this is how you can run the test suite from the GUI of SOAP UI which is very easy and straightforward. Now let us come to our next topic of running test suite from a groovy script and this is going to be interesting. So what I will do is uh, let me go to test suite 3 and here test case 2 I already have a groovy script to run a test case that we have discussed in the earlier session. I will again create a new groovy step. So I will say right click add step groovy script and I will name this as run test suite and say ok. And here is our groovy script editor. And to save some time I already have added some notes here. So this is the code for Groovy script. I will copy it from here and all these notes, all these codes and snippets will be available in the description section of this video. So I will just copy it from here and paste it here. And here first thing you have to do is to get the test suite and we are storing it in a variable called suite. So you say context dot test cases dot test suite dot reject dot test suites and the test suite name. So here I am going to run test suite 2 and other thing that you can notice is I am not taking the test suite inside which we have our groovy script. For example we have this groovy script for running the test suite inside test suite 3. So in case I say test suite 3 here it will keep on running because Within the test suite 3 we have the groovy script which is going to run the same test suite so it will 
run like a loop so i don't want that so i am selecting a different test suite here and then i am just saying suite dot run so here if we talk about the parameters the run parameters the first one is actually a property which you can give as this string to object however you can also say it as null and then for asynchronous run you can say true or false here and then let me just also expand test suite 2 and expand one of the test cases so you can see this running and once i will run this you can see it is running test suite 2 and it is running all the test cases here and it has run it successfully also in case you want to log something you can say log.info and here i am saying I will actually take this suite variable and say dot get name function and I can convert it to string and then I can say execute it successfully and let me run this again so it is running test suite 2 and once the execution is over it prints executed successfully okay so this is how straightforward it can be just with the help of two lines of code you can run a test suite with the help of groovy script now let us come to our third option or topic which is how to run from command line so here let us go to any test suite that we want to run from command line and let us select test suite 2 again and what you have to do is do a right click here and then say launch test runner so here you will get a window for test runner and here you can select the test suite of course this is test suite 2 in case you want to select the test cases you can do that as well and then you have other options you also have options for reports so for example you want to run a summary report or export j unit style report you can select it here and you can also give the root folder so for example i have given my desktop and if you want to export all the results and not only the errors you can select this particular option however if you select this particular option you will get a lot of reports generated so i will not select this as of now and now in case you have some properties custom arguments you can give it here and then you just hit the launch button it will start running the test suite there may be some warnings that you can ignore for now and basically you can even cancel this what we need is the command which you will get at the top and this we have seen in the earlier session as well when we were running the test case so this is the command you can copy this first we have to navigate to this particular soap ui bin directory so i will copy this and add it in my notes command line run so first you will cd to this bin directory and then this test runner command i will just copy it and here i will again paste it so now if you see this command it starts from test runner dot bat then minus s and the test suite name then minus j and minus f this is for reporting and it is giving the location where the reports will be generated or the report logs will be generated and then finally the location of our project xml file so now you have the command you can directly go to your command prompt and i will run the first command to change the directory to soap ui bin folder and then this command to run that particular test suite too and you can see it has started there are some warnings but yes you can see it is running the steps inside test suite 2 and of course because we have uh, given the report path as desktop you can see there are some reports getting generated so if you open this you can see whichever steps failed you get the report 
and the logs for that for example in my case in test suite 2 there was a property transfer step that failed so you get the message why does it fail there was a syntax error uh, at character 1 line 2 and you get all the logs here so it becomes very easy to troubleshoot so you can get these kind of logs as well from command line itself so that is how you run a test suite from different options from a GUI from a groovy script and from a command line I hope this session was very useful for you I will meet you in the next episode of soap UI thank you for watching